Moronade, 60, told a Milwaukee police detective this week she was responsible for the three deaths and said at one point that she can take kids that constantly cry, prosecutors said in charging documents that provide chilling details. She faces three counts of second-degree murder. She didn't dispute what her daughter told police, but said she actually killed her son by drowning him, putting him in bath water until his face turned purple. Moroney said she put him in the water and saw bubbles coming out of his nose and mouth and that she held him down and felt him wriggle a little under the water, charging documents say. Her son was 18 days old. After her daughter went to police, investigators learned Moroney was also connected to two other cases where infants were thought to have died from SIDS. A coroner concluded the death was due to SIDS, but in her interview with police this week Moroney said she used a blanket and held it real tight against the face of the baby. A year later, Moroney was babysitting an 11-week-old girl when firefighters responded to a call for help. One of the firefighters had seen Moroney the year before. Do you remember me, the firefighter said Moroney asked him. Yeah, I remember, he said. Moroney then said, according to the court documents, I told my husband I didn't want to babysit anymore. Again, the medical examiner said the cause of death was SIDS, but Moroney told police she used a blanket and that the baby kind of moved around her hands as she suffocated. Moroney said she didn't use a blanket with her son because she wanted him to go sooner. She further stated that she knew she did wrong, that she is sorry the charging documents say.